Good morning. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. And Mel, we're going to find out a little bit more about COVID-19, how the virus works, and the surfaces that it might be on and that you're touching each and every day. So this is a, a study out of the U.S. from the National Institutes of Health, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, UCLA, Princeton, and many others highlighting <laughs> how long coronavirus can last on surfaces. So let's start with uh, it's detectable in aerosols for up to three hours. Mm -hmm. They're saying uh, four hours on copper. Up to 24 hours on cardboard. That one's important because you might be bringing uh, some groceries home in cardboard boxes or you're getting those packages from Amazon, those deliveries. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. And up to two to three days on plastic and stainless steel. Okay, so what's key here is, mm -hmm. so knowing that it uh, is on these surfaces, now the next step is could you acquire this virus from a contaminated surface? Right. Uh, and, and that they're still trying to figure out. Mm -hmm. uh, so obviously caution is key in, in any of this, especially when we look at some of these studies, um, because there are still a lot of gray and unknown. So caution is key with all of it. I, I know a lot of people who have said they had delivered groceries because mm -hmm. they don't want to go to the stores uh, to practice that social distancing, but they're spending so much time disinfecting every right. single product that they are receiving because they don't know who's been touching what and, and where it's been. Um, are you sort of cautious with that? We kind of talked about this yesterday with yeah. wearing gloves and, and whatnot. You know what? I, I am. I thought about because I do wear the latex gloves if I jump jumping in an Uber or if I'm, I know I'm going to walk and touch a lot of door handles and things like that, grocery shopping, going to the market, whatever it is. Uh, but I thought about this the other day. I got food from the market mm -hmm. and I brought it home and I took it out. And then I, you know what? Normally I would just unwrap it and then start eating because I've already washed my hands. Sure. But now I'm unwrapping it, washing my hands again, taking it out, putting it on another plate washing my hands again, and then finally and like getting rid of the trash at that point. So there's a lot more of being aware of washing hands, cleaning surfaces, and I think uh, that's something we all got to pay attention to, whether we know much about this study or not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people have questions about when it comes to produce, mm -hmm. and I think that's one of the reasons why bananas were one of the first ones that people were snatching up, because it has its own built-in packaging, right? right, versus having to scrub, and what do you use? Is it the vinegar, the soap, the water, when it comes to apples, pears, peaches, whatever? Um, so, yeah, we hope to answer a lot of these questions questions through all of our coverage and bring in some experts. I know you've got someone talking about cleaning a little bit later on in the show. 750, we got that deep spring clean and, and what it means now with COVID-19 as well and, and the places you need to get to. Some of the places you might be forgetting about as well. So we'll have that coming up at 750 this morning. So make sure you are around for that. I will. <laughs> You'll be here. I know. Uh, <laughs> we'll have more BT after this.